Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube citizens. Hey, I'm here with uh, Brother Daniel. Say hi, brother. Good afternoon, shalom to you, it's Brother Daniel. So uh, we are leave. we just left uh, Straightway KC. Uh, it was a beautiful trip. Uh, we spent uh, basically a, a six day and then we're leaving on the first day. Uh, very busy, but um, just a beautiful uh, visit, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, an awesome, awesome visit. Great hospitality by the Saints in Kansas City. Um, it was just a fun, fun Shabbat to be with family and being able to see another uh, uh, assembly as well, you know, in Kansas City. So it was beautiful, beautiful. And and, when, and not only that, it's, it's kind of interesting when you think of uh, straightway, I, I, I'm just blown away by how much persecution they get. I mean, this is a small ministry. And when I say small ministry, just the people that live on the community, it's a small community. It's a very simple, I mean, would you say bare, uh, bare essentials, right? I mean, yep. they just, I mean, it's not like they got, it's not like they live in luxury or, I mean, it, it is like bare, I mean, literally the necessities. They, they, I mean, that's what we lived among, we were able to live among them. We slept in the same um, uh, roof, under the same roof. We ate with them. We, we lived life with them for this uh, three days. We worshiped with them. We it was just beautiful, you know, and it was humbling. It was humbling uh, to see this. The, the, uh, the what's evident about Straightway is the, the their love for Yah and their love for their brothers. Uh, it's just it's evident. It's very clear. And um, when I think about my 17 years, uh, brother Daniel, when I think about my 17 years, I think about all the churches I've ever been to. You know, they had all the bells and whistles. You know. I would say they they had more luxury, you know. Yeah. They had more they had more um, um, programs. They had the nice buildings, the nice facilities. The they had resources, money, and then when you look at Straightway, um, they don't have uh, much of the uh, the the resources, the natural resources like these big churches have. Um, but what they do have and what they're rich in is in power and in truth. I mean, wouldn't you say that? Absolutely, in power and the truth, and also in love, because like you said earlier, um, it's not like you, you're at a, you know, a, 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 a Ritz Carlton or something, but they make you feel like you're at a Ritz Carlton because of the love that you receive, the hospitality you receive, the just being around the brethren, feeling the love, also, you know, being able to see the rebuke. I remember when I used to be in church for years, you would never see any rebuke. Mm -hmm. And if you did see somebody that might have got on somebody or something that was around the corner and it wasn't in this ministry, you get checked. And you get checked in front of everybody. And, and, and obviously in certain situations it may differ, but you know that it's handled and it's handled the right way, not according to somebody's feelings, but according to the laws of Yahweh. So, I mean, this was, like I said, I mean, just like Brother Daniel was saying, this was a, a beautiful thing. I mean, we got to see how they live. We saw rebuke. We saw children having fun. Oh, man. Um, I, I, matter of fact, I'm going to post this uh, when I get back. Uh, maybe, matter of fact, when we get back to Brother Daniel's home. But I'm going to uh, show you a video of just me just filming the children having breakfast. And I was joking out. I was joking with them. I said, okay, guys, I need you guys to look sad. Look like you've been oppressed or you know and they had a hard time obeying that i mean they couldn't help but to smile and i said guys you're going in the wrong direction i need you to look sad so anyway i mean it's just a beautiful ministry what pastor dow has uh what what what, what yah is doing through pastor dow with straightway uh, uh straightway tennessee and now straightway casey um once again i i, I mean brother daniel we were able to come and visit and we are now leaving. We are, we were able to leave on our own volition. I mean, there was no there's no Kool Aid. No Kool Aid. I mean, there was no Kool Aid. They didn't stop us. Now, like every time you leave straightway, there was a lot of hugs. Yeah. That, that you will get. You yes. will be hugged to death if they can. You know. I mean, I mean, it was so cool to be able to see uh, Pastor Corey children run up the hill. Now their children are running up the hill to say goodbye to us. To yes. say goodbye to. Uh, to Dan Brother Daniel's children. Jumped in the car. Jumped in the car. Jumped in the I car mean. to give everybody in the car a hug. And, and the thing is, is I had just given all of them a hug at the bottom of the hill. And 
they all jumped in the car to come give everybody a hug again. And it was just, it's always pivotal moments um, when I'm, when I'm, you know, when I'm at Straightway. And there was a couple pivotal moments here as well. Um, one of them for me was when we walked into where we had, had Shabbat service yesterday. And when I saw all of the saints mm. there, a lot of the saints that I that I got to see during Passover, a couple of saints that I got to see that I've never seen before. I mean, it was just a beautiful, beautiful time. And to be around, I was smiling from ear to ear, just couldn't stop smiling, just being around the brethren. And it, it, it was, it, it's such a beautiful thing. And, um, and not only that, just to see my boys, you know, running and playing, Pastor Corey and Pastor Corey's sons and my sons hit it off. You know, they're around the same age, but they were, they, they were running from the time we got there and they stopped during the Shabbat. And then after the Shabbat was over, they started running again. And just to see them rolling down the hill and playing, and, but it was just so much love. And when we were leaving, my oldest, you heard him, he said, man, I don't want to leave. Mm. He said, I don't want to go home. Mm. You know? I mean, it, just, I mean, it, it, feels, it feels like a, a family reunion. It doesn't even feel like typical church, you know? I mean, this is like family, you know? I mean, even, you know, how, you know, how when you're growing up, you always had, you know, I mean, they, they were calling me uncles. It wasn't just Pastor yeah. Corey. I mean, I, I felt like some of them called me brother or uncle. I mean, they were run up to me. I mean, I mean, some of these children, first time, maybe, I mean, well, it's not the first time they see me. They must have saw me at, at Passover. Um, but, you know, you got to admit this one, too. Even, you know, you know how you were growing up. You always, you always had that uncle that you were afraid of. Yeah. Yeah, we had, we had one kid named uh, Joel, and uh, he was afraid of uh, Brother Daniel. I was afraid of him, and and, and 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 then you know you know me. I'm the I'm the child whisper, whisper oh, right? My and goodness. even he was afraid of me, but I knew it wasn't me that he was afraid of. He was traumatized by my oh, brother here. Don't, don't listen. So to then that I had to spend some time counseling. I think he's about maybe one or two years old. <laughs> so I had to spend some time counseling him to undo what you know my brother. But, See, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay. usually good. I'm usually good with children too. <laughs> children usually love me. I, I think they look at me as a big teddy bear. So I don't know. I, I, they love. They love me. But he, he he warmed up later on, and he gave me a couple of high fives. After so I, I was happy about that. After but I worked with him a little it, bit, it might have been when he yeah yeah yeah. I, I did. I had to work with him, but it was it was very good. But people, I mean, it was just. I mean, we saw. We even saw some adversity. And we won't get into the adversity, but we see some adversity, and to see the love even in that, and I mean. It, I mean, it's evident. That, yes, sir. Is it evident that there's love in this ministry? All the brethren came together. I mean, at, at, at do you have to guess if it's love or not? No, sir. Sister Chris, I mean, you back there. Is there love in this ministry? Is this? Are we making this thing up? There is absolutely love in this ministry. I mean, from all over, from this, from the sisters to the children to the men. Just, I mean, it's just. I just ne have you ever experienced this type of love I've in the never, church? Never. Are you sure? Never. I, I, I went to many go, go. churches where they have talked about, you know, we gotta, we want the Acts Church and we want community and we want all of this. Well, at the end of the day, this is community. Me and my wife were speaking about this earlier. I mean, the church that we used to go to, they would have something called community groups every other uh, 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 Sunday, and they had to hire babysitters. And like they were asking us, can you hire a babysitter to watch the boys? And there's teenagers there, there were people there, and it's like, what? Now when you come to this ministry, it's like you don't need a We are the babysitters. We are the babysitters. Yeah. Everybody's a babysitter. And anybody can correct the children, anybody can sit them down. I mean, I saw when we first got there, my youngest son, he ran out and cut his foot on a rock. And he was bleeding pretty good. But to see all the brethren, as soon as I got him in the bathroom, I sat him down on the toilet, Sister Jasmine said, don't worry about it, I got it. And she went up and got the peroxide, and by the time I came out the bathroom, I saw like four or five saints on the ground scrubbing the, the blood off the ground that he made. I mean, it was just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. It was just a beautiful thing. Really, really a beautiful what, thing. What, what did you think about when uh, we got there, when we first came there? I, I talked, I showed them actually, when you get when you got your fit, the foot rub, uh, they actually did wow. foot washing. What did you think about that? Is that something that's normal in the Christian church? No, yeah, right. No, that's not even close. When I got there, and, and then my wife, she I mean, she immediately looked at me and she said, "Honey, she said I, I she said I need to go repent." She said because she said just look at this. They came in and washed everybody's feet and prayed over everybody while we were there. 
you know, you anytime, anytime you're getting ready to go to the store, leave the land, anything, everybody stops at the end of the gas station. I mean, at the end of the uh, driveway and prays about wherever we're going. We're going to be going five minutes down the road or an hour down the road. But everybody's praying together. It's just love on every single level. It's really a beautiful thing. It's amazing. People, all I got to tell you, I mean, this is me and Brother Daniel. We we're both leaving, heading back to Indiana. And uh, like I said, I mean, Matt, like, let me even get the children involved. The children there? Oh, they sleeping. They play so hard. Hey, they play so okay, hard. So look at this is the children. Brayden, did you have fun? Did you look, look at that? He can't even help it. And look at the children back there. They had so much fun. They, I mean, they literally are tired. I mean, this is not, we, we, we didn't have to give them no Jesus juice or anything like that. That is just straight, just tired. From of, running, just from and, running and having fun. Ball. Having fun. I mean, I mean, people, I mean, it was a beaut. I mean, we've seen old, young, all, <laughs> it was just a beautiful, beautiful. On every level. So, guys, I'm here to tell you, thank you, uh, Brother Daniel, but I'm here to tell you guys, don't listen to the rumors about straightway. If you're going to make a judgment on straightway, do the same thing for your church. You go look and see what your church That's is right. doing. I, I've never seen pastors like this who give of their time. They live amongst the people that they That's shepherd. Right. Literally live. And not even All right there, uh, we had somebody interrupt. Uh, we got a phone call. But, uh, hey, just wanted to just wrap it up. But, like I said, the children just had just absolute fun. Uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the accusations is that uh, we don't have fun. Uh, we have, I think we have too much fun. But, anyway. Um, I think you were saying where, um, how, the, how the pastors in this ministry literally live amongst the second. Oh, yeah. they, they, the, the, the pastors, this is the second uh, community we've been to. And the same exact thing. Yeah, so yeah, so the, just like Brother Danny says, I mean, literally the pastors here live among the people. They live, they shepherd the people that they uh, that they that they uh, shepherd. They, 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 it's not like they show up. They live among the people. They know how they live. They they labor among them. And um, so anyway, guys, once again, we're leaving Straightway, Kansas, KC, and uh, we were able to come and go, and um, we're gonna head back home. And uh, we just wanted to let you guys know, or, or just give you a recap of, uh, of our experience at Straightway uh, KC. Um, obviously different location, but the same spirit. You can, it's evident, once again, the love that they have for Yah and the love they have for their neighbor. Never experienced this type of love. And it's not like they give you, and one thing I'm gonna tell you, man, uh, you will eat, right? I mean, that's oh, yeah. always food, I mean, but, but like I said, the sisters, uh, I just thank the sisters out there. They just did a great job in taking care of us, making sure that we we're taken care of. And the brothers, same way. Just the hospitality, once again, was off the chain. Would you say? Yes, sir. Off the chain. On and every level. Uh, did, you feel that, did you feel that your children were safe? Yes, I definitely felt that my children were safe. <laughs> I mean, we... I it's mean, wild that you even got to answer I, I, I know, I, questions I, like that because of the ridiculous, <laughs> foolish rumors. But at the end of the day, it's like you started how, how you started the video. Yep. This ministry is persecuted because, number one, they walk in the truth, they keep God's commands, and the power. And that's exactly why you see the rumors and the slanders and the gossip and all of that foolishness. But at the end of the day, people can say what they want. I've seen people delivered in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. in this ministry. I've seen the love in this ministry. I've seen the respect that the, 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 the wives have for their husbands in the honor they have for their husbands in this ministry. I've seen the same thing, vice versa, from the husbands to the wives, how they love their wives in this ministry. I've seen the children come together and it's like family immediately. It's not like, oh, you know, I gotta feel this kid. No, it's they, they get around each other and it's just instant love yes. immediately. Yes. And I've seen it in this ministry. You don't need babysitters or children's church or Sunday school, you don't need any of that. You wanna know why? Because the children are learning the exact same things everybody's learning, and that's the law of y'all. Well, I think uh, Brother Daniel said it best. That is the straight truth, the straight way. I think I said it, that's kinda of cool. So anyway, <laughs> we're gonna end it on this note. Blessings and shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. <laughs>